entertainment. In the same way as a classroom, anyone who's been in a high school classroom knows you are first and foremost an entertainer. It's just the reality. You cannot engage high school students if you're not engaging, if you don't have something of interest, if you don't grab them and keep them um, and show them whatever it is, wh why what you're saying is more important than whatever it is that they'd rather be doing, which as a high school student is like literally anything other than what you're doing. And uh, speaking to adults is, is similar. Many adults are much more interested in what you have to say naturally, but you're an entertainer. I've always viewed myself uh, as uh, in, in a form of, of entertainment, just with an, an, I'm not there to entertain just for the sake of entertainment, like in the world of entertainment, but an inter entertainment to, to create a message and to inspire and to teach. But we're just not in a world where you could just get up and open up and say, in this week's power show, the politics, of, it just doesn't work. It doesn't work. It has to have something that's engaging, that's relevant, that they feel they can take home and share with their family. Uh, always, I, I sort of just, I, again, this is nothing, no big chiddush, but just always short enough that your audience can remember and share what you said at their Shabbos table and long enough to be of value. It's meaningful. But if it gets too long and no one can go home and share it, then you've lost something because there were too many parts too many connections. If, the, if someone can't go home and someone says, what did the rabbi say? And you can't say it over, then it was too complicated and too long. So it's got to be uh, engaging with a nice story or a joke that will remind them of what you said and then the message and they could tie it all together as best they can with, uh, with, with what you said.